the wand life wand of us new camera we're getting cool okay let's let's not get carried away okay <laughs> wands wands for days What up, Flow Fam? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about Contact Wand. What is it? Where did it come from? All that fun stuff. I got a schmancy new camera, which is super exciting. I've been wanting a new camera for a while, so hopefully, you know, this is looking pretty good. I'm coming to you in 4K. You can see everything. All of my pores. So hopefully this is turning out okay. I look fine. Let me know in the comments what you think. So we're talking about my favorite thing in the world, Contact Wand. My love, my child, my everything. We're gonna talk about Contact Wand, what it is, and a little bit of the history behind it. The Contact Wand life is the best wand life. Sorry, all the other wand types out there. Long string. All of the Contact Wands. All of the, oh God. I don't need to be a parent. This is, this is what I birthed. And before we jump into it, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, give it a like, leave me a comment, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you get notified when I post new content. <laughs> and of course, we also have the wizards of the channel. And the wizards of the channel are flow toys, astral hoops, matrix fire safety, and fun emotion toys. Thanks guys. And if you also want to support my channel, you got two different options. You can head on over to my Patreon, where you can be involved in awesome things in my channel, or you can head on over to LuxLuminous.com. I got tons of awesome leggings and all kinds of different stuff, and every single bit of the money goes directly into funding this channel. All right, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about Contact Wand. What is it? So there are a few different criteria that a Contact Wand needs to have to be a contact wand. First off, it needs some grip tape. It needs some grip. You can't do contact on a wand that's gonna slip right off your body. Ain't gonna work. Ain't gonna happen. You need grip tape. And if your lovey wand doesn't have grip tape and you wanna add some grip tape to it, here is a link right here that you can go to that I will show you exactly how to tape your wand. The second thing you need for your wand to be a contact wand is that it needs weights on the end. So that is extra weight on the ends, so that way the wand like rolls better as you're doing like different contact moves with it. And the third thing is that the whole body needs to have some weight. I'm talking anywhere from seven to 13 ounces of weight. So that extra heftiness with the wand is gonna help it stick to your body, so that way you can do awesome, fun contact tricks, and it's not just gonna go flying away. Though you can do contact with a lighter wand, it's just gonna be a lot harder. Don't do that to yourself, especially if you're just learning how to do contact wand. Get yourself something heavier, and then you'll be able to do these tricks a lot better. So I did grab some examples of some contact wands for you all to look at. So this one is a very popular one. This is from Flow Toys, and as you can see, the body has a silicone grip. We have weights at the end. And uh, this bad boy, you know, weighs, I think eight ounces, eight or nine, something of that nature. If you don't have a contact wand, but you do have a fire wand, fire wands totally work as contact wands. So again, it's got silicone gripping with weights on the end, which are your wicks. So it counts as like a double whammy. You can totally learn contact on a fire wand, though it is quite sooty and messy. So be prepared for that when you're practicing, just be in a suit, baby. Soot baby, soot baby, soot baby, sooty, sooty butt. I don't know where this is going. You can also have contact wands like this. This is another one from Flow Toys. So this has a lot of weight on the ends and the weights on the ends can look very different. So we have round ends, we've got long ends, we've got this kind of end. So all of these work as weights for the rolling and all of these are contact wands. Though your contact wand might look different, these all work. They all have grip tape, they got weight on the ends, and they weigh like a good amount. The very last thing to make contact wand contact wand is contact tricks. This is where the lovey wand comes in contact with your body. So things like fishtails, things like halo rolls, any time the lovey wand is coming in contact, 
that's contact wand. And I'll insert a little clip of some contact wand here. Hush. So now you can see what contact wand is. It's a little bit of this, it's a little bit of that. Pretty much what contact wand is, is a baton on a string. And of course, if you're looking for some fun tricks to learn and get yourself started in contact wand, go ahead and click this link up here, and I will go over the five basic contact wand tricks just for you. And if you want more inspiration, look at your contact staffers, look at your baton twirlers. There's so many tricks that have already been created out there that you can totally get into and draw inspiration from. So, contact wand history. Where did it come from? The birth of the contact wand. I am the mother of contact wand. So yeah, Contact Wand was my brainchild, though tons of people have added lots of awesome tricks and added their own types of style to Contact Wand. But honestly, the way it started was that of misogyny. No joke, seriously no joke. Like, legit, people totally talked to me constantly about my wand. When I started Love You Wanding, like, people would always make fun of me, and they would, like, talk down to me. They'd be like, oh, why don't you spin, like, a real prop? Maybe you should, like, try hula hooping or poi or something. I was like, no. No. I want to do what I want to do. And that's lovey wanding, because it's freaking cool and levitating. In the future, I'm going to be making a video about sexism in the Florence community. We'll really get more deep into that whole situation. So the way that I like got inspired to do it was I was watching a couple of my good friends doing contact with double staves and I was looking at them and I was like, hey, your double staff's the size of my love you wand. I bet I can do those tricks. So that's where it started. And when I first started doing contact wand, all that there was on the market really was Flo Toy's little tiny day wands. And I was doing like halo rolls and stuff like that. I then made it my mission to talk to and work with a bunch of different prop companies from all over the world to create contact wands. So around 2012 and 13, I started teaching at festivals and I went crazy. I was on this epic journey of teaching everybody I can possibly teach how to do contact wand. I wanted to spread the levy wand gospel throughout the land. Contact wand is the love of my life. It's been with me longer than any relationship. <laughs> Well, friends, if you enjoyed this video and learning about Contact Wand, make sure you give this video a like. And of course, if you have any questions at all, leave it in the comments down below and I will help you out. And if you are new or lurking, welcome to the wand life. Ugh, oh, shower and love you all. Shower me. Shower me. Oh. See you all on the wand side.